good shot there from Tate. Girls love money, and that's not entirely true. So, what's happened? Luke broke his Ferrari, so got a straight ride. Luke, why did you break your Ferrari? I bought the car and he broke it. I was driving on the highway, okay. and all of a sudden, it just said, the engine performance is limited. So you broke the engine. I think if I buy someone a Ferrari, they should look after it. Don't you? Yes, I agree. Great. Come. I'm gonna have to straighten this out. It's gonna have to be a straightener. Come on, Luke, watch that footwork. Plant your feet more, don't just walk backwards. And body. Luke, compose yourself. Throw those punches properly. You're, you're throwing to miss. Throw with intent or don't throw. One and a half minutes. Now, no one realizes this because we haven't been recording it, but Rory is addicted to Domino's cookies. He's ordered them twice today. Here we go. One box, two box, three box, four boxes of Domino's cookies. And there are more. Now he's just gone to answer the door. I wonder what he has bought. He has no friends here. He has no girlfriend here. Who do you think's at the door, Luke? Is it Domino's again? I hope not. Bro, they come here like three times a day now. He needs to stop this. Why does he do it? He does it to get us. That's why he does it. And he's also addicted to Domino's. It's a two-pronged attack. Who is at the door? Why, Rory? Why do you keep doing this? Every day, why do you do this? This Domino's is delicious. Is it not? Yes, but what? Every, this is the second, third time today. 20 cookies, two large pizzas. Nice. You having some? I don't like you. Why not? I don't like you anymore. You why need not? to stop doing this. Look, twice a day is okay. You know? It's not. 
It is, but what is the harm? We, we train, I can eat pizza, it's, it's not that bad for me. I'm not talking to you, enjoy. Moments later. What's happened? Got a flat tire. Driving was boring anyway because it's fucking raining. Mountain roads in the rain are no fun, and now we have a flat tire. But there's a town, 10 minute walk that way. And what are we gonna do when we get to go to the town? Start drinking? Get a taxi. A taxi? A taxi? And what are we gonna do with this car? Your ideas suck. Who's Chip Man? Chip Man is the man that me and Luke know who works on the trains and sells people's chips. Maybe we should go see Chip Man. You're saying we get a train. Maybe we can leave the car here. We get stolen, we get stolen, we have more. But we can get a train and we can use eat chips from Chip Man and I'll feel better inside. All right, get us some train tickets. First of all, walk down there. You walk, I'll wait in the car. No, my camera lens is not dirty. <coughs> We're right, so let me give you a breakdown. What happened is this. I'm a multi-millionaire. I decided to go on a little road trip, a few pretty hotels. Some nice, beautiful roads. Convinced Tristan to come with me in the M5. Got a flat tire. Now I want to become the train man. <coughs> and in the meantime, Tristan's decided to kill us all, saying we need to die with that thing you do in cars with the exhaust. But we don't have a hose pipe, so we're trying to do it with Cubans. Why do we need to die again? Why are you trying to kill us? Because I'm depressed. Because he's depressed. I'm depressed. I'm trying to kill us all both. With cigar smoke. If we finish these, there'll be about $150 worth of smoke in here. This car's gonna stink forever. So? We're effectively ruining one of our cars. It's our car. What are they gonna do? Call Amnesty. BMW gonna call us and tell us off. Bunch of German cunts. Cunts. Okay, can we go get the train now? Can we smoke on trains? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, probably. Let's go to the train, Something's going to go wrong if we go near the train. How can anything go wrong on a train? Things go wrong. Something's going wrong. <coughs> Mark my words, something's going wrong. And you can't take the smoke. Nothing goes wrong on trains. Let's get the fuck out of here. We're on a train in Romania, and the train made an emergency stop, and they asked us to come help them. And it turns out, this is the train captain. Turns out that during the storm last night, a tree has blocked the track. A big tree. A big fucking tree. A tree so big, even you and me cannot move this tree. No one's moving this tree. But they obviously went down the train and asked all the big G's to come out. Big G's, come help us move this tree. And this is a big tree. Four or five tons at least. Ton. Solid. Give me a chainsaw to move this. Chop it up. 
hours work with the chainsaw. Give me a few, few Red Bulls, I'll be okay. Few Red Bulls, yeah. Can't do it without Red Bull. We never take the train. Ever. We always take supercars. First time ever we thought, you know what? The train will be a scenic route. We've never taken the train in Romania before. And now, we're stuck. And now, this is hour three. That train was too big to move. No one has signal. They've called the emergency Romanian train authority back up, which is probably some 65-year-old man who sleeps all day. What problem? What? He's walking here, I guess. Three hours. And, and the world's worst train. No drinks, no food, wooden seats. And I've ripped my $2,000 shoes walking through the forest. I mean, you should have tried harder to move that tree, but it must have weighed 10 tons. It's huge. Yeah, I don't want to show off. I don't want to let the Romanians know how powerful I am. Mm. Are you? I don't want to flex my true powers. If they were fucking superheroes, they'd ram the fucking tree with the train. We've already established by asking them that the train would move the tree if they rammed it. It is procedure. I have a procedure. Get me there on fucking time. Nerds. Three hours later, three and a half hours later, <sighs> some guys walked. I can't see any vehicle behind the train, so they must not have driven here. They fucking walked. <sighs> they walked here with the chainsaw from the nearest station, I guess. I don't know how they got the message to them. I think one of the conductors walked back. Now these guys have walked here with the chainsaw. Could just keep a chainsaw on the train, but I guess it doesn't cross their minds. Time to get moving, I think. Saved by the yellow jackets. So we saved the day. The train arrived on time. I got out of the train, I was a little bit tired. I've been up drinking the night before, but the tree was in the middle. So I gave the tree an expertly timed sidekick, split it in half, you took both pieces, threw them left and the right, everyone was super impressed, but because I was throwing the kick, I couldn't record on the phone. I already recorded the guys with the chainsaws. Fuck you. It's a nonsense episode. Where are we? We're in a salt mine. Yeah. This is a nonsense episode, nothing makes sense. So we're in a salt mine. Half a mile underground. We were on a mountain, and now we're underground. Take confidential!